What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's lesson, you and I are gonna create a fun and simple drawing of Paolo Dybala. For today's lesson, all we need is a sheet of paper and something to draw with. I'm using this black Sharpie fine point marker, but you can draw with whatever you have available. Let's begin this lesson in the center page and draw two circles for the eyes. Now we're gonna start with the one on the left, starting from the very top. So bring this down towards the bottom, and then back up towards the top. Now we want to leave a gap in between the eyes and draw the same size circle on the right. So let's line up the top of that circle and bring that down towards the same height and then back up towards the top. Let's draw a smaller circle in the center of each eye. So we're going to start back at the top, go all the way around, and then up, and then do the same thing on the right. Now along the top of our pupil, we can draw a smaller circle for highlight. And then we'll fill the bottom of the pupil in black going around that highlight. Now we want to place the nose and mouth in the center in between the eyes. So let's start with the bottom edge of the nose, starting over on the left, bend this down, and then back up towards the right. Now I'm going to move up and draw a short curve going up and down across the bridge of the nose. Let's step down, add the mouth, adding another curve coming down and up. Let's add a bracket on the corners of the mouth. Now in the center, we're going to step down and add a short curve for the lower lip. Let's go back up to the top and add in the eyebrows. We're going to start on the inside of the left eye, bend this up, and then out. Go to the right and do the same thing. And then on the inside, draw a curve coming in and up on both sides. Now I want to taper this so it gets narrower as it comes up and then out towards the outside of the eyebrow. Let's fill the eyebrows in black. Now that we complete the face, let's move out and draw the lower half of the head. From the outside left eye, we step out, curve this down, and we'll pull that in just underneath the mouth towards the chin, round up the chin, and then pull that up towards the right, going up towards the same height. Let's bend the hairline going around the eyebrows. So we'll go straight up and then bend that in. Now from here, go straight up in towards the top. And then we're going to brush his hair over towards the left side. So starting from the top right, go across and then bend that down. Taper that up and in. Let's add another point. Go out and then down towards the side. Go up and in. Now from the left side, it's going to curl the hair going out and then down. In. Let's add a layer, coming back, going up and in. Now I'm going to make our way back over towards the top right corner of the hairline. So up here, go this up towards the top of the head, bend that down. Now we're going to step back, go all the way around, and then pull that in. Now I'm going to go back and add the ears along the side of the head. Let's start on the left side, go up round out the ear and then pull that in towards the side. Let's line up the top over on the right, going in the opposite direction and then back in. And then we'll add the folds inside the ear. Starting with a curve along the top, come back to the inside and add a hook. Now I'm going to close off the side of the head. From this point, let's step up, come down and then in on top of the ear. Let's go to the top right. So we're going to round up the head, come down, and then in. Now we're going to move down and draw the side of the body. Let's start over on the left side, just underneath the head, bend the body, going out and then down towards the hip. Let's line this up on the right, going out and down towards the same height. Close off the bottom with a curve. 
Let's add the color along the top. Starting on the left, draw a half circle coming down and up. And we'll just trace that out along the top. Let's add the number 21 in the center of the body. We start over on the left, start with the two going up, down, and then out from the left. Go straight out. I'm just gonna trace this along the outside. Go back up to the top, just flatten this off, and just trace the inside. Now we leave a gap and add the number one. Start with an angle going up toward the top, come all the way down toward the bottom, and then just trace the inside. Now from the center of the body, we're going to step down and add a curve, going up and then down. Let's leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg, going out and then down towards the left heel, move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now you want to round out the bottom of the feet, starting from the left heel, bend the foot, coming down and then up towards the outside. Let's go back to the left side and draw the top of the foot. I'm going to curve this up, I'm going to bend that down almost like a half circle, aiming towards the heel, and you just want to curl that back up towards the inside of the leg. Now going back up to the hips, we're going to close off the side of the leg. Go out, and then bend that and down. Let's add a trim along the bottom of the feet. So we'll take this curve, step up, and just trace that across. Now just along the top, we're going to add a curve from the bottom edge of the shorts. Coming down and up on the inside. Step in, draw that again. Now I'm going to leave a gap and draw that same curve to the top edge of the socks. Let's draw the number 21 on the bottom right side of the shorts. So again, we're just going to duplicate the same steps that we did on top. Now moving up to the top, we'll draw on the arms. We want to start halfway between the chin and the hip. So starting right here, then the arm going out and down towards the wrist. And then from the wrist, draw a small half circle coming in and out for the thumb, and then close off the end with a bracket. Let's add three fingers on either side. We start under the thumb, come down and up around that bracket, step down, go out, and then up with the second finger, and then the third finger going all the way around and just tuck that up underneath the head. Let's separate the sleeve halfway along the inside of the arm, bend this up and then out. Now I want to add a thick strip going halfway up the arm. From this bottom corner, step in, just follow that curve going up about halfway, angle this up and out. Now I just want to repeat that over on the right side. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. There's our drawing of Paolo de Bala. I had a really good time drawing with you today. Now, if you want to draw more characters like this, I put this video aside that I think you'll like. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.